Hi friends, welcome to my channel and this is fourth video in Veeam Backup and Replication Advanced Training. So in this video we are going to focus on post installation tasks for Veeam Backup and Replication. So in second video we have installed Veeam uh, Backup and Replication on our Veeam server and last video we have um, uh, like uh, uh, check all the options which is available in Veeam console. So now we are in this video we are going to use the Veeam console to do some post installation tasks. So, uh, the main task we are after the post installation, as uh, like um, which is recommended, uh, we have three tasks. Which is first one is a license sub license uh, installing license and um, adding the credential for your uh, infrastructure and change the backup repository or add the backup repository uh, in a Veeam. Uh, backup and replication so we are going to do all these things so let's verify what we have so we have this a uh, lab setup the first one first machine is a domain control which is win2k12 dc01 and the second server which is our veeam server which we have installed in last uh, second video so uh, so post installation task i'm to do i'm going to do uh, add the required license and these all add administrator user account on credential manager and add and modify backup repository so I'm going to do first task um, add required licenses so as we know I told you before also in this video so <coughs> we can go ahead and add the required license from uh, uh, Veeam back uh, for the Veeam backup and application uh, from the Veeam website directly so you can see license not installed when I open this so it's giving me uh, you need to opt in the license or you can switch to free edition so um, we need to install the license so either you can go here and request for license so I have already requested license which is sitting here in my downloads you can see I have requested license for Hyper-V and VMware both so I'm going to install the license now the first time so I'm going to open the option and here we have a uh, licenses and I'm going to install license and I'm going to browse my license but first I'm going to um, uh, we are going to explore all the option in a Hyper-V so I'm going to install the Hyper-V license for now after this you can see the license is installed and you can see the it's only 29 day left so I requested this of the, this license yesterday so I have this and you can see here the contact person agent everything and agent for Linux also so what we have 50 workstation 0 uh, 20 servers so same here and backup and application we have a Hyper-V 32 socket so protected VM currently 0 also if we go to manage you can see licensed host so we have uh, we don't have any host uh, currently so it's not giving the license so uh, once we add the Hyper-V host in this and such a we will uh, come again and verify the license host hosts so I'm going to close this for now and I'm going to close this so license is installed now so now we are good to go uh, to the second step which is add administrator user uh, account on credential manager so I'm going to click on option again and cr manage credential so here you can s add your all the uh, uh, s uh, accounts like uh, license uh, Linux account Linux uh, private key or the standard account so I'm going to use the standard active directory account so I'm going to click here and click on browse I'm going to use SVC Veeam account here and you will see this is fine so I'm going to click here and I mean in description I'm going to put here SVC Veeam admin and and service account so we can identify what this account is I'm going to put the password and click OK so it's going to validate so uh, this is good so we have added our administrator account here so now we can click on ok and if you want to add more uh, more 
you can say the mode users administrator users you can go and add anytime and if you uh, for uh, if you change the password in domain or a directory or user you need to come here again and then you need to authenticate the password again for this user so you need to make sure whenever you change the password for anything you need to come here and validate the password again uh, otherwise the credential manager is not going to have a latest password so uh, it can cause the issue to fail backup or restore and anything so you need to make sure about that so I'm going to click OK so next task is add or modify backup repository so if I go in backup infrastructure and backup repository you can see uh, this is by default created by Veeam it's detected my D drive and created the uh, repository here so I'm going to change it to something default uh, this is fine I can go dive uh, so created by so you can see here and click on apply changes so we can identify okay this is by default created repository so you can see the description name has been changed and now we need to add the repository so what I'm going to do I'm going to add one more hard drive here in my Veeam server and then we'll add the uh, add to the uh, repository so I'm going to add new hard disk here uh, on my this virtual machine and I'm going to give it to 900 gig and then going to add this so you can see it's not highlighted here so I need to go to disk management first and then need to bring that drive again so I'm going to uh, here copy in and I'm going to make sure that the name is correct so I'm going to change the name here so I'm going to make this drive as a default backup repository and I'm going to add new one so this is added here I'm going to create a partition now and call it oh, Veeam backup repository and click next and finish so you can see now uh, this is added here so we have a default and uh, manually created one so I'm going to add here and click on I'm going to copy this name here from Veeam drive so I'm going to put here and this is I'm going to type main Veeam backup repository for example VMs backup and I'm going to click next and then it's going to show the type so it's a uh, Microsoft Windows Server or you can select Linux and other also so I'm going to select the Microsoft Windows Server because it's here on my this server only so you can see the server is automatically detected so I'm going to populate the information you can see that all the drive is here so I'm going to select the E drive and click next and you can see the path for the folder is here and you can see the capacity and all I'm going to populate this information again so it's you can see it's around 900 gig drive and it's going to store here so maximum you need to make sure uh, um, this very carefully because limit maximum concurrent task so it's not going to allow um, more than four so I'm going to just to make sure all the task is going to run so I'm going to make this to 10 concurrent task and click on next and leave the default setting and finally we are going to review the setting and then going to add this and repository so this is good so we have already exist chance every information and throughput uh, right throughput is not limited so I'm going to click on apply so now you can see the 
backup repository has been successfully added and we can go and click on finish so you can see change the mm, change the configuration backup location to newly created repository if you want you can go here and yes and then it's changed to the new one so you can see how we have added the Veeam backup repository so we have performed all the three post installation tasks so uh, these three tasks which you need to take care mostly after installing Veeam backup and replication so thank you for watching and please subscribe me for more videos and if you have any query any question related to this you can post me on my given mail ids thank you once again bye bye